Hello guys, um, welcome to this Kikalo. Welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all doing great. And me, I'm okay. Just we're gonna talk briefly about Banyana Banyana and their journey. They did well in the World Cup buffet too. Um, a lot of people are blaming it on the goalkeeper. They're blaming it on you know the coach for. They're saying that the coach uh, selected uh, the players that she liked. There's a lot of uh, political involvement and all of that. But I think we are overlooking the fact that these girls did well. Uh, let me start with the goalkeeper issue. Yes, um, the goalkeeper made a mistake today, a big mistake, which cost South Africa the second goal. Um, but even before she made this mistake, we must say that South Africa was not that much attacking, you know, but I'm not saying I'm trying to justify it. It was a mistake. And I think it's not right for us to blame it on her that South Africa did not win today, uh, this morning rather, you know, against the... Um, you know, like in Netherlands, you know, I think we're overlooking the fact that she did well. Everything that she did today was good up until she made that mistake. And the coach, Desara Ellis, uh, she has come to, f to, 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 to kind of uh, protect the goalkeeper, you know, after this mistake. She says that, look, yesterday we spoke about how to win the game. We needed to score more goals. We had a lot of opportunities, especially in the first half, to kill off the game. Because we knew, uh, you know, the quality of the Netherlands. We also knew uh, that even when we consider with a set piece the chances that we create should have put us uh, out of sight you know uh, but that happens i think our goalkeeper had a fantastic game up until that moment and i hope that our people will remember her for how she played not for that one incident in the end uh, the legs were there for us to take uh, to keep you know on pushing for the duration of the game but they are going to be in the game and they are going to know that we are here we spoke about uh, underdogs, but I don't think uh, there are any more underdogs in this World Cup because of a decision here and there. We could be speaking differently now. So, guys, uh, briefly, that was just the, the coach, you know, Desire Ellis, just saying, Guti, you guys cannot just overlook uh, Ukul Kipa, you know, Kilen so just because of this one mistake and you overlook all the good things that she did you know because of that mistake and i think it's fair guys you know today she did well a lot of people have been criticizing this goalkeeper but um she didn't have a bad run by fate too you know we, we should just support our girls for going as far as getting to you know the knockout stages uh, you must remember that in 2019 um you know we we, we just exited in the group stages and if i'm not mistaken we've never never even won a game you know uh, in that level we didn't win a game in 2019 in the world cup and now we went all the way to to what uh, the round of 16 that was big that's huge by fate too and also remember that we've lost uh, some instruments mental players you know you've lost a player like refill j um yes uh sipo senwe rather you know let me start with sipo senwe was doing great you know in that front three uh helping us a lot in our attack today she had to be substituted and after a few minutes like 10 minutes uh, after that we also had to lose another player also you know in in Oulo umba nebafet who was doing well in terms of the defense so south africa really suffered in terms of injuries in this tournament and remember the game that we played against argentina it was the same thing uh refilwe and Ojane also suffered an injury so it's been difficult for south africa you know throughout the, the this competition but they managed to, to keep going and i must say that we don't have that much depth also in our our bench but we are proud of these ladies you know they've done well and i'm hoping would see come 2027 they'll be able to even go further than they did you know uh, they did well guys let's not you know let's not look at one moment uh, where the goalkeeper was making mistakes or we're looking at uh, who to blame they did well you know they they made history south africa has never i can I, I can even say that this is the most successful you know uh, a team that they've ever made they made history in the world cup guys you know so that does not uh, go unseen it is it's not unnoticed so let us give credit to everyone that played everyone tembi um you know the breadwinner guys everyone you know did play their role in this tournament and to be honest no one expected uh, Banyana Banyana to get this far and they, they really you know made us proud so 
let us keep it at that. Hello, guys. Pumla Panda. Uh, Pumla Panda says, I am proud of them. Pumla, you should be proud of them, you know. And yeah, they are going to continue doing well. And we can only hope that Bafana Bafana Nayo, they've seen this. I hope that Bafana Bafana have seen uh, how far Banyana Banyana went and that when they get their chance, because now they have to qualify for the World Cup. I hope that they will qualify and that they will be able to also try and do something similar to this because we don't have that, you know. The, the, but the memory that I have of Bafana Bafana in the World Cup is that goal of Spear Shabalala back in 2010, you know, I want more, you know, of South Africa to, to also show which man we're coming with football. But nonetheless, this is not about Bafana Bafana. It's about these ladies who have done well and we're proud of them. And yes, man, they come back home with their heads, you know, with their heads up and reputation has been bolstered. So that is it, Buffet 2. Um, I didn't want to take long. I just wanted to make this video uh, dedicating it to these ladies. And I hope that Buffet 2, we stop this agenda of blaming and blaming and blaming individuals. At the end of the day, Banyana Banyana made history. They did well. No one expected them to do like this. And let's just keep at that and hope that next time they even go further than they did. Dango is thank you, Buffet 2. Jobang Shilo and Funin that is, yes, they did better than the boys. Yes, Pumla. They did better than them. And they need to learn. Oh, wow, Bafana Bafana. I don't see them. You see now, Archie. You see now. Now we're touching on Bafana Bafana. <laughs> yeah, but, so, I'm just saying, Uti, the, this level that Banyana Banyana got to, I would love to see Bafana Bafana also trying something like this. Yeah, but, because now, you know, uh, a lot of things were blaming it on you know, individuals, which is not right. I think it's only fair to say Banyana Banyana did well and we want them to do even better. They've never gotten this far. I don't remember Bafana Bafana getting here. I hope now they can learn something from this experience and now it's Katsako Isabo Sieza and let's hope which they'll get there. But please guys stop this thing of attacking the goalkeeper man. Uh, she did well. Today I think she was great. It's just that, that one mistake, you know. Uh Brazil Bamba or Brazil push her, uh, just push it out. But uh, you know, she 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 tried to 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 hold the ball and unfortunately it slipped. You know, I don't know timing him shy like But we can't really blame Banyana Banyana for we can't really blame the goalkeeper for Banyana Banyana losing. I think we can all agree today. First half we looked much better, especially before half time. Banyana Banyana really, really took the game to the Netherlands. They could have gotten a goal. Even Tembi Hatana got a few opportunities. But again, we're not looking at individuals and blaming anyone. But I'm just saying that we, we did well. We could have won the game, but second half we're totally out of it. Yeah, so from here we just continue going forward buffet two and yeah man we're proud of you and speedy recovery to refilo jane you know speedy recovery to her she's been out since that second game another speedy recovery to um jermaine you know sipo uh, sipo senwe and also uh, umba never fit to you've seen how horrible that injury was uh, a lot of you were wanting to see a red card let's hope uh, they will all recover and Tango, my fate, my valley, my man, Jenjo, my shilo, and full of satisfaction.